Telling us all about it this morning, those flooded roads and downed trees, just some of the problems left behind after powerful storms slammed our region. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live in Brumall for us this morning with a closer look at that massive sinkhole that opened there. Trang, good morning. Hey, good morning, Jan and Janelle. Yes, I am at the intersection of Westchester Pike and Springfield Road where this sinkhole opened up inside of a giant parking lot. Take a look here. Now that it's laid out, you can really see just how deep this goes. It's about, I would at least say about 12 to 15 feet. And I was able to speak to a man who was here last night when this sinkhole opened up. He tells me that there was actually a minivan right here in this spot that was teetering on the edge, about to fall in. Crews were able to successfully remove remove it. But again, this is what so many people are waking up to massive amounts of damage throughout the area. Torrential downpours at the height of the evening rush hour made for a challenging commute home for people across the region. On MLK Drive in Philadelphia, people had to traverse around downed trees and a flooded roadway. Over in Delaware County, this parking lot in Haverford Township turned into a river, surrounding cars and forcing people to wade through the water to get to them. Fallen trees in this Bethlehem neighborhood took down power lines, blocked streets, and smashed through this car's back windshield. Throughout the area, drivers left cars abandoned after unsuccessful attempts to drive through the floodwaters like this car in Newtown Square. The skies opened up and like sucked in the world. It was crazy. After the storms rolled through, William Boji came across a huge sinkhole on his way to shop at the giant supermarket in Broomall and snapped these photos of a minivan in danger of falling in. I was just glad nobody got hurt, but seeing that car just teetering, like, if it wasn't for the bumper in the front and the rear of the car, you wouldn't even have seen the car. It would have been down the hallway. And taking another live look here in Broomall at this sinkhole that has opened up in the parking lot just outside of the giant supermarket. Again, fortunately, this is in a parking lot, so it isn't not it is not going to affect uh, anybody's commute. But as Chandler has been mentioning throughout the morning, plenty of hazards still on the roadways, including some downed trees that still need to be picked up. Also, though, the good news is that this really didn't affect power too much. Right now, at last check, we uh, checked in with Pico, and it's about a thousand customers this morning without power throughout the five county area. But for now, we're live from Broomall. I'm trying to CBS three eyewitness news. Jan and Janelle back to you. Some pretty significant damage there. Trying. Thank you.